there's a new tab in Model Viewer called BIM and uh, some great tools in here. First one allows you to output uh, solids um, known as a, a BREP solid for a model. So that model could be um, a total model, but also could be a model builder model as well. So the cool thing about the BREP is you, you see the thickness of your curb, uh, the thickness of your pavement, the footpath, um, and that solid could be uh, exported to a DWG file, uh, an IFC file, um, a number of different formats that are supported um, uh, in Model Viewer. So um, uh, in, a, in a sec, I'll show you an example of exporting this road uh, that we have, which is currently a total model uh, design with some uh, cul-de-sacs, uh, curb here, and then we've got the rural road. Um, so we'll export this model to a BREP in a sec. Um, Another new tool is called lofts. So this is sort of like extrusions. However, with lofts, you define a shape using a polyline and then um, using, by referencing a CSD string, you can create a lofted solid along that string. And uh, I'll show you an example of how we can uh, use the loft to represent a guardrail. And this is my polyline shape for a W beam that, that I'm going to use. So let's kick off by having a look at um, uh, the B rep. So I'm just going to go to dog toggle display and turn off my base and primary design surface and head over to the BIM tab. So really simple. All you do is you, you pick the model. As I said, it could be a model builder model. If you output the B rep as a mesh, then you'll get the, the rendering, the materials rendered. Uh, then you pick the tolerance. So there's low, medium and high so uh, a high tolerance is just more detailed it looks a lot nicer um, and before uh, for performance reasons i'm just going to go with medium so then after that you click on build b rep model and the software will, will build those uh, all those solids up for us for uh, uh, for this total model model Now the BREP gets stored to disk, so every time you open up Model Viewer, it'll be uh, the BREP will, will be loaded from, from files, so uh, you don't have to um, reload it each time like you do with other surfaces in Model Viewer. But if we zoom up, we can see uh, the full thickness of our road here. We've got the asphalt layer, uh, the crushed rock layers as well, and these are rendered because in material groups the materials have been added so you just got to make sure the names are same as, as materials you use on your template and then you can define um, a material so that's why we're getting the thickness there oh, so the, the render on our uh, on our solids <clears throat> so let's have a look at the uh, at this road here with some curbs so we can see we've got the the curb uh, the sub base under the curve, the footpath as well. So the full thickness uh, rendered um, and uh, outputted as a, as a solid. So if we go back to the BIM tab and click on BREP layers, we actually get a list of all the, the BREPs that have been created. And we can see the string it came from, the section and the, the layer. So um, layer one will refer to the top layer of the section. Uh, uh, for for uh, this road, which I think is called um, Creek Road, uh, is asphalt, and then we've got uh, Centerline LEB, another layer under that called Crush Rock Class 2, and then Crush Rock Class 3. So if I was to say turn off that top layer, I just tick off display and go update, and then you can see we've removed that asphalt layer. And we can do the same to remove the, crush, the, the next layer down for the Crush Rock. And then the next layer underneath that. So then we can you know, appreciate the thickness of this curb here, and we sort of get a sort of lasagna slice uh, look here through the road. And we can uh, just go and turn those back on. Is the option to, to select multiple here and, and toggle um, on and off. So really simply, if I wanted to unload that BREP model, uh, I simply go and uh, tick on unload BREP. If we just wanted to, to turn it off, we just tick on uh, tick off show BREP, where we can bring it back 
um, here really quick. As I said, we're loading the disc from disc now, so um, you, you sort of get that performance. Uh, the thing about the B rep is it's something you probably don't want to be working with as you're working on your design. It's one of those things that you would probably output once you've finished um, your design. So uh, let's go and have a look at uh, the, the new loft tool. Um, I'm going to do an example of a, of a guardrail. So how it works is you, you, you run lofts and uh, very much like extrusions, you go and add a group. So I'm going to call this guardrail uh, left. Pick the string you want to reference, the code. So I want to reference LEB. I'll just do the first 200 meters. Then you pick the polyline. So this could be any shape that you want. So I'm going to pick this W beam here. You pick the base point, which I'll go down the bottom. Offset, so this is offset from the LEB. We'll go back half a meter and I'll raise it, the guardrail up 100 mil. And then you just pick a material. So um, what should I go with here? Let's just go for, I mean, ideally I would have a uh, some sort of sheet metal material, but let's just go for uh, curb for now and then hit close. So you can see that guard rail has been modeled. Um, you know, if I was to make a change to this shape, then you would update in model viewer. And as I said, I mean, this is the example of, of creating a, um, a guard rail, but you can use this to create all sorts of linear shapes, maybe different types of curb shapes that you, you can't model using our standard um, you know, template editor. So the thing about uh, the lofts and extrusions, in this new version, they'll also, they also can be included in the IFC output. And we have improved the IFC output um, a lot. Um, so let's uh, go and output an IFC file. Just call this one total model. I can export. And I'll just put this on the desktop. So um, I have been Vision installed on my computer, which is my um, which will open uh, IFC files by default. So what we have is. Um, the solids for the the road showing let's zoom in at the start here we can see the guardrail each layer of uh, the sub base here so if we click on the the asphalt down the bottom here we'll get some information about the section so we can see it's uh, between center line and LEB we're looking at layer one which is uh, asphalt and comes from Coffs Road so uh, we're putting some extra properties on the, um, uh, the the solids that get created for the IFC. Let's have a quick look at the uh, cul-de-sac over here. So it looks really nice. Now, if you wanted finer detail then uh, as I said, you could export using a, a high tolerance and just get a nicer, um, smoother look um, on, on your solid. But I think uh, medium, I think is, is pretty good um, as well. So uh, that's a quick look at um, the, the new BIM tab in, uh, in Model Viewer. Uh, now have the ability to create solids for um, any model, total model or model builder models. Um, we've got a great new tool called lofts, which is like extrusions. Extrusions are sort of vertical and, and lofts of sort of creating linear uh, shapes uh, by referencing a string. And um, we've improved the IFC export as well. So they now also include lofts and extrusions, obviously as, uh, as well as the, the B-Rep. And um, we're also starting to put a, a few extra properties onto the objects that we output to um, uh, IFC as well. So thank you for watching this video on the new BIM tab in uh, Model Viewer.